First, let's understand what is a broker. So a message broker, like we see here, we have Apache Kafka, Amazon SQS, and Robert MQ. All these are classified as message brokers. So a message broker is an intermediary software component responsible for facilitating communication and data exchange between different applications or systems. So its primary function is to decouple producers which are the application that send the data to the broker from the consumers, which are the application that receive the data. So the message broker acts as a mediator, ensuring that messages are delivered efficiently and reliably from producer to the consumer. And the key characteristics of message brokers are first we have decoupling so the message broker enable loose coupling between the application by allowing them to communicate without needing to be aware of each other's existing so here we have the left hand side will send the message to the broker and the right hand side will consume the message from the broker so we don't need to know who sent this message then we have an asynchronous communication so message brokers often support async communication, allowing producers and customers to operate independently of each other's timing and availability. And then we have scalability. So message brokers can be designed to handle large vol volumes of messages and scale horizon horizontally to accommodate growing workloads. And finally, reliability they often provide mechanisms for ensuring message delivery and reliability even in the face of system failures so this is a global overview of a message broker now let's see what is apache kafka which is the topic of today's video by having a look at this diagram so this is a global overview of the kafka ecosystem so first of all, Apache Kafka is a distributed, fault-tolerant and highly scalable message broker and stream processing platform. It was originally developed by LinkedIn and later open sourced by an Apache Software Fund Foundation project. So Kafka is designed to handle large volumes of data streams in real time and fault-tolerant manner. And here, let's have a look on the key components of the Kafka. So first we see here we have producers. So an application that publishes message to the Kafka topic. Then we have on the, on the other side, we have consumer or a consumers. So the consumer is just an application that subscribes to the topic and processes the published messages. Then we have a broker. So here a broker or a Kafka broker form the core of the Kafka cluster. So storing and managing the streams of records. Then within a broker, we have topics. So a category or feed name to which records are published. So topics in Kafka are used to categorize messages. Then we have also, we will see this later on, we have also partitions within Kafka. So topics are divided into partitions, allowing Kafka to parallelize processing and scale horizontally. Then we here we see here that we have something called Zookeeper. So the Zookeeper or Kafka relies on Apache Zookeeper for distributed coordination of and management of the Kafka cluster. So the Zookeeper we will explain it more in details just in a few moments. Its main role is to manage these brokers. Kafka comes with many advantages. So first, Kafka can scale horizontally by adding more brokers to the cluster, providing high throughput and low latency data processing. Then we have durability. So messages in Kafka are persisted to disk, providing durability even the event of node failures. Then it's fault tolerant. So Kafka is designed to be tolerant, ensuring that it can continue to operate seamless, seamlessly in the face down of hardware or software failures. And then it's a real time processing. So Kafka allows for real time stream processing, making it suitable for applications that require low latency data delivery. 
and then as we spoke before decoupling so kafka topic based architecture enables decoupling between producers and consumers allowing flexibility and independence in application development then we have the data retention so kafka provides configurable data retention policies allowing organizations to retain messages for a specified period and finally it's the ecosystem integration so kafka has a rich ecosystem with connectors for integrating with various data storage systems stream processing frameworks and analytics tools